our Lord made. Yes. He's great and he put us in it. And we have a purpose and he got a plan yes. for us to win it. Come on, somebody say, welcome to the turnaround. Welcome, welcome to the turnaround. turnaround. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Y'all missed some of our prophetic class. We don't, we don't have Sunday school. We have prophetic school before the day come out. Position all of our minds and get our minds settled and still that we can hear our God. Because one word from God can turn your life around. Amen. Amen. I mean, you don't need to go see books. All of them is good. But sometimes it's just one word. I mean, sometimes just one word will make you come on her. Remember to tell that man to get out of my way. Come on, tell man. Tell that hard place. Go get out of my way. Come on, one word from God will make you whoop your enemy and he'll fall on his knees and bow down to the God in you. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. 2 Corinthians 6 and 2 say, For he said, I have heard thee. Check it out, check it out. Don't run over stuff. But he said, listen here. Do we need to back up one real quick? We then, as workers together with him, somebody said workers together. Workers together with him. With him. We don't work for him. We work with him. I'm talking to some people that's ready for some meat and not milk. Come on. Glory to God. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. Baby, don't you be acting like this ain't nothing. Mm, right. Don't you get to tripping and getting all caught up with your worldly or worldly life, like little girl, like you the gum dot com. Say, don't you receive this grace in vain. Yeah. You got favor with God. Okay. I didn't say favor with Bill Gates. I didn't say favor with Oprah. I said favor I with God. Look at this house. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Sometimes you gotta tell that flesh, cause that flesh something else. But I said it's just something else. It's just something else. It's full of stuff, and he said no good thing in it. But that flesh, that natural stuff, the old yeah. flesh of you. Come on. Well, but the good news is, God so called brother, he had the nerve. Well, come on here to put himself up in nothing. Come make on, make something out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. So it say, for he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. See, see, you got to quit getting tripped up, caught up, all tore up. Because there is a time. Timing is everything in God. Remember he said, there's a time in the season and the sun. Wise man, King Solomon told us that. Come on, in Ecclesiastes. But listen, he said, there is a time. He said, listen here, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I secured thee. So listen here, we ain't found him. He found us. That's why you cannot let your hunger and your cry for God, not for your stuff, for God. Don't let your hunger and your cry for God stop. Don't let none put it out. Come on here. Don't let it be in vain. Come on, you better understand, because what it is, you want to know him. That's the epitome of your whole story. Listen, that I want to know him. I got to know him. I want to know him. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, and it's a time accepted. He said, I did. Listen here. The little lady, do you think that, like, Jesus didn't know the little lady was going to be there after 12 years? He said, well, Lord, why she have to go 12 years? Well, maybe it took her 12 years to understand that, look, girl, you putting all your confidence yes. in man. You been running, giving all your money to the doctors. Oh, excuse me, doctors. I love y'all too, but I ain't talking about y'all. <laughs> I'm talking about him. You've been putting your money in every world, putting all of your, your uh, faith and your hope in just pure flesh. And I'm the healer. I, I am. So, listen, she had just got to a place. Sometimes you can just get somewhere and pray. You got to remember, come to yourself. Come to your God self and remember, Lord have mercy. I got everything I need and everything I ever am to be with. It's with me. It's with me. Somebody say, it's with me. It's with me. He is with me. He put himself in us. He's with us. He's with us. You got to remember that. Hey, on the journey. But this journey is long sometimes, and it's something else. Amen? Come on. Amen. But God is with us. So he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. 
there's an acceptable time where God will hear your cry. Don't lose your cry. Don't lose your real cry for God. Don't lose your love for God. Don't you fall in love with nothing else in this earth greater than your God. All y'all hearing yes. this. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Said in an acceptable time. In other words, I got a time set for you where I'm going to have a divine appointment with you. Lord, and people think that this salvation thing, the way they taught it in the early years with, with without revelation of the Spirit of God. Come on, girl. Listen, they put it and set it up like we in some type of having some type of, I don't know, we going to a place they call church. When we the building, but they done put all this emphasis on this place. This is just a location where he had ordained us to meet so he, he can uh, flow through someone to minister himself through. Mm -hmm. You never get caught up with just the flesh to me. Open up your ears and hear what's coming out of my mouth. Amen. Open up your ears when people come into your life so you can hear if God sent them or did he not. Hello. Come on here. Because if God sent them, then if you really been fellowship with God, it's something about your spirit. You ain't got to be all that great, but your spirit know God because your spirit is of God, came from God. Amen. It ought to come on here away from something in your spirit. And if it don't, then ain't God that sent you. So you gotta be ugly, but just don't don't secure or, or succumb to whatever that message finna be about. Amen. Hey, matter of fact, you need to tell it to be quiet. Oh, <laughs> man, I heard something last night in my sleep just talking. I just went, a big shut up and don't talk to me. And I roll right back home <laughs> and went to bed because he wasn't talking about nothing. Say. What you was talking about is crazy. God don't talk to me about crazy stuff. Listen, he said, I didn't heard you in an acceptable time of salvation. I, I secured thee. I've already helped thee. Behold, now is the acceptable time. There is an acceptable time. A lot of you all that's listening to me under the side of my voice in this room, on social media, in your living room, in your car, come on, wherever you are, you are, you are, you are walking up on an acceptable time. Now, God is getting ready to reveal himself to you in a way that you've never seen him before. Come on, you're getting ready to experience the God where ears ain't heard and eyes ain't seen. But come on here, but God himself wants to show himself to you and reveal his glory to you. Come on, he gonna, he gonna let, let, let you in on some mysteries and secrets before the foundation of the world. Come on here, he gonna fine tune your purpose of the reason why you were born and why you gotta get up, come on right now and run. Listen, when I read the Bible and talked about that prophet I ran that chariot. Now you know ain't no human man not running a chariot. You talking about somebody, a human man. It's like you running 70 miles and I ain't no human man running like that. You know that had to be a power, a might, a supernatural power risk for them that yeah, he got ran a truck, uh, a chariot. Come on. On his two feet. And then how one man went into a city, don't understand he was going somewhere and it normally would take three days. And he made it in one day. Amen. The union. And you know how you're going to go somewhere, take three days, and you get that one day. Now you know, now you know that's got to be supernatural. Say. I'm getting ready for the supernatural. Yes. Amen. Oh God, I'm trying to tap you in and open the heavens up over your life Amen. so you can hear God and know that God wants you to know that the supernatural is on the inside of you. Yes. And God's getting ready to speed up, redeem the time. Time that's been wasted. Time that's been stolen. Time yes. that's been yes. lost. Yes. He's getting ready to redeem some time yes. in your life. Come yes. on, yes. he's going to rest the fight on you. And look, you finna hit it, baby. Yes. I you can get ready to move and shape and make some things happen for his glory. Somebody say yes. for his glory. For his glory. Yes. Somebody going to remember God is still God. Yes. 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 Darkness is just showing out. They're doing all kinds of stuff. They're killing people. They're talking crazy. <laughs> Leaders and all. Just, just slap ignorance. Darkness is ignorant. Don't have to say it's darkness when it's dark. It means it's ignorance. Say. So, Look at her. Ignorance on profile. Say. <laughs> but wisdom is shed ignorance up. Amen. Amen. Lord. Amen. So God, I'm telling you, he wants you to hear you. That's why you don't have to compare yourself with anybody. Because God so neatly wants to reveal and express the image of him through you. Amen. And only you can do. Then you got what you can do. And he done gave what you can do. And when we all come together, we give this great big tapestry of this almighty God. Come on yes. now. And then we got to understand that he's going to bless us. He said, I'm going to bless you. 
It means I'm gonna empower you. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm gonna give you some some greater than might. Because he said, not by might. They say not by your own might, strength, your own power. He said, but by my spirit. I'm getting ready to release some upon you, within you. Listen here, that it's gonna be a blessing. That you yeah. have. After I help you, you're gonna help somebody. somebody else. Mm. Yes. That's what he wanna do. Yes. And and why, y'all might say, why he wanna do that? Because he just loved us and he was wanting to do it. He didn't have a uh, underlying motive. You know, you gotta watch some people. They do stuff for you. You gotta wonder, wonder yes. what is the motive? Come on, yeah. man. Is there, what motive do you have? What you, want? What what you want? wanna do? Yeah, what you want? What you want? What you, what you after? But God, you know what his motive was to say, for God so loved the world. He just decided he wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. See, you God, you got it like that. Say, <laughs> just want to do it. Come on here. Lord have mercy. So, I just want to introduce you to that whole that right there. So when the man of God get up, remember that God is talking to something, somebody special and great, and he loves you. Because sometimes we can't hear God because we got other stuff on our mind, like, you know, feeling all bad, all under condemnation and guilt. And I didn't say that, you know, it's okay to do the food, no. But, some, you know, you got to understand that we have a point in time of grace here. And God is gracing us, and he is merciful. But listen here, but he's cleansing. That word will cleanse you, baby. And the power of the Holy Spirit will strengthen you and make you another. You'll be greater than you ever was before. Come on, baby. Somebody said he talking about now. He's he talking about now. Right now. So when this word comes forth, open up and don't let nothing distract you. Don't be thinking about no food. This is the food. Come on now. This food right here is better than steaks. Say. <laughs> this is the wine, the water. Listen. Come on. Like you won't get thirsty no more after this drink. Amen. Come on now. And you won't be all out your mind and high after this wine. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Y'all listen to me. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, somebody. And I want you to just hear God. Because when you get up, it's designed for God to give you your, listen here, your, I call it my cheat sheet. He give me my wisdom, my knowledge. So when I walk out of here in life, I can win. Yeah, I, can, I can remember that I'm the head, I'm in authority, and the devil is under my feet. Come on, I don't have to fear him, and I can't take authority. And somebody say, how are you going to do that? With my mouth, because I have a voice. Come yes. on, glory yes. to God. Yes. And that's powerful. Come on, that, voice, that mouth is powerful. Because yes. that's what he used to create everything. He said, let there be. He didn't run to the bank and put no uh, credit card in there. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> He didn't help me in the dollar because he couldn't. He didn't need none of that. He looked at me. He just was cold in his mind. His mind was full of life. Ooh, life. Right. God have Holy mercy. Holy and he God. just began to talk about the expression that was on the inside of him. He began to release what was in him out of him. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. And things began to form. Yeah. <laughs> life was. Yeah. Woo. Life was created. All right. And he yeah. said, listen here, because if y'all. I gotta take, I'ma hold that to my midnight class. <laughs> <laughs> gotta hold that. Can't let everybody in on this. <laughs> some stuff you just gotta hold. I'm learning something God tell you, you gotta wait on be a step for the point in time for that. I think I've shared enough with you right now that you can get all hungry and thirsty yes. and glory yes. God come on here and realize what the real deal is. Lord have mercy and love on your God and get ready to be uh, administered to by the grace and the will of God. So let's rise up on our feet and we're going to receive, come on here, the man of God, the shepherd that God sent over this house to administer life, teach us, encourage us, strengthen us, and correct us. So if your correction comes, don't get mad, get glad that God is turning it around for your good. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We had our faith together and do our declaration. And what we going to say? God bless. Come on, God It. You can be seated. We want to welcome all of uh, social media, different platforms, and to all our guests. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, all right. God bless everybody that's here today. All right. And let me get. Um, Smart, let me get you right here. 
Slender, let me get you right here. All right. All right, before we take off, we make sure everybody's loaded on the plane, right? That it's balanced. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Glory to God. We need to breathe, just breathe from within. We get too high in the spirit, we can just breathe from within. Amen. Praise Him. Praise Him. <clears throat> Amen. But uh, we're going to get ready to go into the Word of God today. There is a word from the Lord today. I'm excited just to be in the, uh, to be in the presence. Amen. There is a word from the Lord today. Someone said there is a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord today. And believe it or not, everything is okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Someone say everything is okay. Everything is okay. Don't get caught up in the illusion of how things feel, how it looks, or, or just because you checked last and it wasn't where you wanted to be, don't fall for that illusion. Come on now. I found out that God do a lot of uh, underground work. Sometimes God does things be, before he will let you know that he's going to do them. He's a God that prepares beforehand. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? God don't just get busy when you call him because he said before you speak, I'll answer. Hello. He's not a God that draws up your agenda when you wake up. Let me see what I got for you today. You follow what I'm saying? But he had your agenda before the world began. Yes. You follow what I'm saying? Yes. Before you were in your daddy, he had your agenda. Come on now. He had you in mind. Nothing you do catches God off God. Right. Come on. I mean, understand that? Yes. Because God will never be a part of nothing. Or he becomes unnecessary. Yes. Now you follow? Or he will he won't even send you nowhere where he becomes unnecessary. Are you follow me? For the for the mere fact that he created you, he refused to become unnecessary in your life. <laughs> I'm going somewhere with this here. I'm going somewhere with this here. You know. Sometimes we, we quick to give up. Come on. We quick to quit. The most easiest thing I ever did, uh, young lady, was quit. Don't talk. It, it doesn't cost any. It, it's not even. It's not even hard to quit. Just stop. I mean, whatever you're doing, just 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 stop. You know, it takes no effort. You don't have to fill out no application, or nothing. You don't have to get an interview to stop. You know what I mean? It's not five points to stop. You don't have to go to a seminar. You've been to a seminar that teach you how to stop. You know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't cost nothing. It's not even advertisable. You know, you just you just pull away. You simply give up. But you need to understand quitting is not an option in the kingdom. Come on now. Quitting is not an option to greatness. Quitting is not an option. It is not. God has too much invested in you to give up now. Believe it or not, you, you come a long ways. You may say, I haven't arrived, but, but, but you're further than you ever been. Come on now. Come on here. You're further than you ever been. Yes, sir. Your thoughts are getting better. Yes. Come on here. Could have been worse. I'm going somewhere. I'm just throwing out just some fillers right now. Then we're going to dive into the word of God today. Because there is a word. There is a word for God. There is a word. So there, there is a word of power. There is a word of change. That, there is a word that will transition you. Yes. This word is powerful. And you need to understand how powerful it is and the purpose of its use of being powerful. It will only change you, but it will change the environment that you walk into. Hello. Yes. This word is so powerful, it'll, it'll influence somebody that don't even want to be influenced. Come on now. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't right. heard nothing I say. See, you know, when you're riding, when you come into a smoky room, you have no option but to smell it. Mm. When you come into the anointing, you have no option but to surrender. All right. Come on now. You ain't heard nothing I say. You, you know, you, you, you've been arrested. Amen. Come on, when wisdom show up, stupidness can't do nothing but submit. <laughs> because it ain't, it cannot talk it. You hear nothing? Is anybody hearing this? Yes, sir. Yes. 
You run out of stupid things to say. Oh, Lord. Till you become bored and depressed. Come on. Jesus. See, you know when people become depressed? Because they run out, they run out of them. Mm. They run out of ideas on their own. Mm. And there's nothing else that they can suggest now. Mm. They're at the point of, I have no other thoughts to implement mm -hmm. over this issue. Mm -hmm. So now I'm depressed and bored because I'm detached from the source. Mm -hmm. Come on. Lord have mercy. Anybody hearing this? Yes. Anybody hearing? Oh, we, we'll get into the word in a minute. I'm just trying to see where you're at right now. We'll get into it. Go to the book of, of Romans. And we're going to speak before you long enough to inject a thought to make you think. Go to the book of Romans. And let's, let's go to Romans the 8th chapter, and let's start with the, the 31st verse, and then we just going to, can we just bag into some things? Yes. We, we gonna, we gonna, we're going to start at 31, and then we're going to move back up, still moving forward in Scripture. We're going to move back up in Scripture and see where we land. And we're going to start with the favorite here, then we're going to bag all the way back up, and we're going we, we gonna to qualify uh, 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 the 31st verse. But we're going to go to Romans 8, 31. We're going to start there, but that's not where we're going to end. All we're right. just going to do that for starters. Are uh, you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I'm going to say, you already got it. You already got it. You already got it. You already got it. You ain't alone. Come on, you sleeping with it. <laughs> you might as well activate it. Come on, Come on everything else being activated. Hello. Everybody else got freedom of speech. You yes. might as well prophesy. Yeah. Hello, man. You might as well speak. Come on, everybody else got a mind. See. You might as well speak yours. Come on, the mind of God. Hello. The kingdom mind. Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it, 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 it's no, you can't, you can't deal, you can't have no spiritual issue with a carnal mind. Come on now. Yeah. I'm sorry, you, you can't, you can't come up out of this in your flesh. Hello. You can't deliver yourself in the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, you follow mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You, yeah. you can't free yourself from your from your carnal self. Come on now. Come on there. Come on there. A wounded man can't heal a wounded man. Come on there. A blind man can't lead a blind man. See. Dumb man can help you pass the test. <laughs> if the, he don't know or she don't know. Are mm -hmm. uh, you following what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, some think this is what it is. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the book of Romans. The eighth chapter. It says, What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Hmm. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all freely give us all things? Holding nothing back, all means all. Holding nothing, freely giving you all things. Amen. I'm not talking about your works of the flesh. Freely giving you all things. Are, are we hearing this yes, here? Huh? So I would say freely. Freely. With no bondage attached. With no bondage. With no sorrow attached. No sorrow. But freely giving you all things. See that that has become a part of your belief system. On, See, this man. is this is not just reading stuff. Come on. This is stuff you got to know. The, the, you can't just read this. This is stuff that has to become a part of your life like oxygen. Mm -hmm. you, for, you know how important it is for you to breathe? Yes, if you don't, so. get what you can't breathe. You, you understand how important it is to breathe. All right, and you follow me? You got to understand it's important to have the word of life. It's important, yes. it, it, it's yes. important to have a, 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 the word of life. To, to move around in the system. Come on now. So who shall if we know what's here? So he says, How shall we, how shall he not with him also so freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? See. That's you. It, it is God who justifies. Who is he who can he who is he who condemns? It is Christ, that's the anointed one, who died, yes, who is risen. Some say who is risen. Who has risen. Who is also at the right hand of God, who also interceded for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress 
persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword, as it is written, for your sake we are killed all the day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Mm. 37. Know in all these things we are more, in all these things we are more than a conqueror. Come on. You got to hear that. More, more than a conqueror. In other words, when, the other way you can, you got to know something to be more than a conqueror. In other words, before I hit the battle, before I hit you, I knew I defeated you. Come on, I'm more than you can identify me with a conqueror because I didn't touch you. I just spoke to you, Hello. and it was done. Say, and it was. So. Mm -hmm. Hear this: Knowing all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Come on here, say in spite of. In spite of. For I am persuaded. And I someone say I am persuaded. I am persuaded. See, some point in this, you got to get persuaded. Yeah. Now I am persuaded. See, the attitude of, of persuasion, Margo, I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. What are you, see, somewhere in life, you got to get persuaded by something. Mm. I'm persuaded. Watch this here. In other words, I, I, I'm beyond convinced, I'm persuaded. Yes. That's a persuasion. Come on here. And, and then when you begin to, to talk about persuasion, you take on an attitude of persuasion. I'm persuaded okay. that this is going to work. I'm persuaded that, that the odds are not because I am persuaded at this moment. Mm. Watch this here. Watch this here. We, we, we're, not, we're not through with this. we got to bag it all the way up. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, neither angels or principality, nor powers, neither excuse me, things that are present, nor things to come, neither heights nor death, nor any other creature, or any other, or any or any other creative. Sorry about that. Any other created thing? He said, any other created thing. Wait a minute. Shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Did y'all are y'all really hearing what this what Paul is saying here? Wait a minute. Let, let's read this again, and then we're gonna. Bless you. We're going to back all the way back up. Bless you, woman of God. We're going to back all the way back up. And now it's going to make sense in a minute. I want you to listen to this, son. I want you to listen to this. You, 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 know, you know, Romans, the book of Romans is so important. Mm -hmm. To really, you you could just have the book of Romans because Romans cover it all. Mm -hmm. It deals with the whole everything. Salvation, beforehand, afterwards, now. It deals with it all. Flesh, spirit. You know what I mean? It, I mean, I mean, Paul was in a dimension here when he when he wrote this. He he was tabernacling right here. Mm, he he talks about his seven the desires. Come on. When, when, when you want to do right but you do wrong. When you say you ain't gonna do it no more but you do it again. <laughs> you know you know Paul talks like that. You know Paul talks that thing. He talks it out, you know, and, and, and then over and forward, he, he talks about Abraham, calling those things to be not as though they were. You follow what I'm saying? Taking his mind and his mouth, overshadowing the situation between mind and mouth. You see what I'm saying? Taking the mind and mouth of Abraham, come on here, and prophesying and telling that thing. See, I'm convinced, prophets, that some things we're praying about, we need to be prophesying to. Right. Come on, man. See, that's the time you pray. But after you pray, you don't have to keep coming back praying about the same thing. Yeah. That's the time you begin to prophesy. Oh, that's the time that you don't talk to God no more. Man. You talk to the thing. You tell the thing what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not talking to God about you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to ask, God, can you come in my house? You have a foul spirit. You foul, unclean spirit. You, I command you yeah. to loose my ghost down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To loose my presence. Be thou gone in Jesus' name. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Or either you can walk up to someone, come on here. They may be drugged out, doped up. You can walk up to that person that's drugged out and doped up and say, hey, old king. Come on now. I'm talking past your drunkenness. Yeah. I'm talking to the king in you. Yeah. I command you, king, to rise up, be thou saved, get on the throne and wear your crown and take charge. Come on. Now you're prophesying. Yeah. Now you're calling those things that be not 
as though they were. Right. When the yeah. book of Romans, it's the communication. when the book of Romans, the uh, the first chapter, you can sit anywhere you want to sit. Yes, when the book of Romans, the first chapter. Not the first chapter, Romans the eighth chapter, from the thirty first verse. What shall we say then to those things? Come on. If God be for us. If God, if God be for us. But we, we can't we can't leave it on if, because I want to want to serve an if God. Come on, yeah. Uh, right. Get into trouble now. <laughs> that, that, that puzzles me. I can't stay with the if God. Well, I don't have to know that you're going to be there when I get there. I don't need a yes God when I step in the storm. I don't even know you're going to meet me. I don't need a yes God. So that makes me have to back all the way back up. That makes me have to back up in Scripture. I can't go further because I don't want to end it with if. I don't give you a yes God. Come on now. Come on, Pastor. Put up there and show. We say to these things. If God be for us, who shall? Who shall come on? Shall be against us. And see, if you deal with the who, you ain't got to worry about the what. Come on. If you deal with the who. So sometimes what takes us out. Because we don't know what the what is. So what takes us out. But if I can back up the who, I can destroy the what. And so what takes our back? What makes us make emotional decisions? What? What make us marry someone yet no business doing because of a what? Come on. What make you meet people you shouldn't have met? What makes you in the wrong look? What? What brings on attitude? What? Sometimes what can bring up the worst out of a man or a woman? What? Come on now. And they don't know what they did anyway. Yeah. Say. Can we work there for a minute? Can we work there for a minute? So, so I want to bag up in scripture. So, so, so we read. 31. Ooh. Jesus. You, you, got to, you got to hear this. Amen. We may tap into something else. Before, if I have time, I'm going to tap into another mystery. Mm -hmm. but, but, but I want to I wanna show you something. Your seat's up here. Amen. There's a birthday girl. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Next tomorrow. Amen. She's celebrating today. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right now. So 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 we say here, let me re finish reading 831, then we're gonna we're over in uh, Romans 8 and 31, Sister Kimberly. Uh, so let's, let's, let's listen to this here. Read 37, then we're gonna back up and qualify all this. Knowing all these things, and I guess I would give you the message, so the message today is if God be for us, who can be against yes. us? Come on, that's the message. Right. Okay. And, 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 let's, and let's see what that do for our bottom line by the time we get through the message. Okay. Let's see what you're going to place that in your life. Right. Mm -hmm. And you follow what I'm, what I'm saying. Okay. So, so knowing all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, neither angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things to things present nor things to come, neither heights nor death nor any, cre any creative thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which in, is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, we said 31. Now let's go back and let's read 30. Let's read verse 30. We, we, we're going back. It's Romans 8, verse 30. And, and those whom he predestined, now predestined ain't really a word. It's not really, predestined is not really a word. Y'all yeah, do yeah, understand that. Those are two different, two different words come together. Pre, before, destined. In, after, okay? Okay, so we, we, we combine them together. Okay, now listen, this one just listen. And, and those whom he predestined, he also called. So he also called. Those he predestined, he called. So he called you before situation. Come on now. He called you before trouble. He called you before adversity. He calls you before you made the mistake. He yeah. called you. With, with, with every, knowing, knowing your end, I still called you in the beginning. Knowing the outcome, knowing what you would walk through, knowing the mistakes you would make, I still called you. Knowing that you would go to jail, knowing that, that you would experience a little whoredom, a little pimping, a, a little homosexual, a, a little this, a little that. But I called you. My calling is greater than your mistake. Amen. 
Amen. Uh, that won't get a lot of amen because see, yeah. see, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something in a minute. Be, be, I, I, I'm going to tell you this in a minute because, because you need to understand that God loves you beyond your mistake. Yeah, I love you. You ain't got it. Uh, you ain't got that. Because see, a lot of people want to qualify. They want to disqualify. They say they want to quit. Mm. They, they want to give up. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because I found out that people will love you up to the point of your mistake. Yeah. And then, and then after your, to the point of your mistake, then they judge you. That's right. Oh, but I'm going to show you something. Can I show you a mystery in a minute right here? I'm, I'm going to show you what, how, how the love of God does. We going somewhere? Well, I thought you could going to find about a car in the house. Baby, I'm going to give you something longer, more than a car in the house. Come on, man. Because when that wears off, you get tired of that. <laughs> you get tired of that. Okay? So let me give you, let me give you something a little deep. Let me give you something a little deep. And you see, I want to let you know today, I'm not preaching to just those that are here. The word I'm really giving you is for those that's not here. Come on now. And it's your choice, because what I'm giving you will make you go get them. Uh, you ain't hearing nothing I say. So, so I'm not preaching to you just because you got saved and want to jump and shout. And you want to fall on the floor and get covered up. And yeah. speak a little tongue that nobody knows what, what the word you're saying. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But, but when I preach to you, it's to fill those seats. Because yeah. if I impregnate you with spiritual spandom, it'll make you give birth to everything out here. Yeah. Come to what we can't even come in here. Yeah. Right. If I impregnate you wrong, yeah. if I penetrate yeah. the womb of your understanding yeah. to trigger your mind to another dimension, Let's go. Yeah. Huh, come on here. Come on here. Huh? Yeah. When I make you heathen consciousness, when I make you heathen hungry, when I make you heathen hungry, come on here. Come on here. You're going to get the, the that, that man on, on the corner that you thought was shooting up and doing it. He's a, he's a prophet. He's a pimp. Come on. He may be a pimp, but now God's going to make him a prophet. Come on now. Glory to God. That, that woman that was dressed was up to her neighbor that you were judging, that's a queen. Come on now. Come on here. She's about to come into her hour. Yes. You hear that now, see? Yes. Is anybody for a supper time? For an acceptable time such as this. Yes, indeed. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Come on here. When she see you, she going to see herself. Yes. She going to recognize you. Yes. She going to mirror herself when she see you. She see her greatness when she, see, see, that's why I watch this here. See, when you got it, you ain't got to do a lot of talking. Right. You, you, when you see somebody crippling up, you, you remember Peter, Peter and uh, James, I mean, John, it was Peter and James, I believe, went by the gate of beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there was a lame man that had been lame so long, but he was designed the wrong thing. Come on, he wanted something for his flesh. And, 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 and I believe it was Peter said, silver and gold, have I none? But such as I have, I give unto thee to look on me. He said, this, I, want you, I want you to look at me. I want you to look at me. I want you to look past your financial need. I want you to look past your marriage problem. I want you to look past your childhood. I want you to look past your, your don't do it. Look past your boredom. Look past your homosexuality. I want you to look at the rim. Look on me. And don't you stop looking at me until you see you. Hey! Look on me. Look on me. Let me, let me, let me but you got to be walking in the dimension in the spirit to tell somebody to look on you because they could see the wrong thing. But look on me. I'm so confident in my anointing because I've been spending time with God. Look on me. You won't see an orange pair of boots and an orange shirt. You won't see braids and locks, but you'll see the Christ in you the whole world. Look on me. Look on me. Is anybody hearing yes. this? Yes. Teach prophet. Let's go. When you can tell the enemy, look on me. Mm. Come on. Look on me. And you will see that greater is in me to hear than you. You make yes. the hell about it. Yes. Come on now. Hello. Mm. Yes. Are you following you? Are you following you? Yes, indeed. Listen, 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 listen. Mm. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those who he called, he also justified. Mm. <laughs> he didn't only call me, he justified. So in case you got an opinion about it, I've been justified, baby. I've been justified past your opinion. I've been justified, I've been justified past how you feel. Yeah. What you think I'm supposed to look like? Yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. Come on, because you know people people try to strip your top. Yeah, we all say. You supposed to look. You say you a fool. You supposed to look. How you know I'm supposed to look? You ain't even live the life. Say, come on here. You see what I'm saying? People people want to judge you and box you and make you one dimension. Yeah. You can't lock me down to just the prophet. I I am that I am. I'm whatever I need to be. 
to reach you. Come on now. Come on here. I need you to be the street boy just to reach you. See? Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, you don't know what tool God going to use to catch yeah. somebody. Right. Come on here. I, 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 I need to be, 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 the, be the man that, that when you drop your hands, ma'am, did you drop this? And when I touch your hand, the Lord will fall off on you. Hey. And your life passed before you. This is the moment. Yes. You heard nothing I say. Oh, yes. See, you, see, God can you see, God be religious. Yeah. I'm not even need to be the prophet to you. I may be the hell boy. Hello? How you doing? Hello, good morning, sir. Whatever it takes to break the ice, whatever it takes to get to the next dimension. I may not come to your church. But I may see you on the street, on the bus stop. Come on now. You may have a flat time for the stop over. And when I change your car, I just change your life. Let you walk into a new dimension. I'll never see you again. See, what they give? If God be for me. Hey! If God be for me. Come on here. Baby, let me tell you something. It's more for you than against you. Come on. You got more for you going than you think you do. Baby, it's a whole nother word. You're trying to count the physical. But baby, it's full in the spirit. Say. Come on here. Y'all ever seen that variety commercial? Look like one man till they splash, then all the people are like, you hear me now? You hear me now? That's how I look at the realm of the spirit. Come on. <laughs> People touch you, they got a whole arm in the mess. Are you sure you want to start this fight? I look along, but I ain't. When I hit you, you don't know I ain't alone. I am not alone. Can we? I don't know. I don't even follow me. God give up ears to hear what you're trying to say to me. Watch this here. So let's move back up. So he says here, and also called. And, and those whom he, he predestined, come on here. That means beforehand, you, you got a before life, and there's a life, a predestination. Come on, there's a destiny that you're going to arrive. Come on here. Watch this here. Watch this here. So also he called, and those whom he called, he justified. Also justified. And whom he, and whom he justified, he also glorified. Come on. Someone say glorified. Glorified. And see, when you're dealing with glory, you're dealing with a weight. Yes. Of glory. Yes. Glory yes. means a weight. Yes. And where there's a weight of something, there's a manifestation of something. Come on now. You, you're going to see the weight of that. It's, it's going to leave an effect on you. It's the weight of glory. Now watch this here. Let's, 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 move, let's, move, let's move back up. We was at 30. Now let's go to 29. For those whom he foreknew, ah, uh, so they, so they're going to be hard to pass out right there. Those who he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. He, he predestined beforehand. Before your mother, however you got here. I mean, it could have been a rape case. It, it could have been a molestation. However you got here, God moved past before he knew. He didn't worry about none of that. Because the destination is to be conformed to his son. It ain't how you got here, now you're here. Say. Let me show you where you go now you're here. Let me show you how I'm going to use your mistake and how I'm going to use what was against you. I'm going to use it and make it for you. Right. Come on See, now. Don't See, I, I, we, we don't let your childhood be an issue no more. Yeah, yeah. We don't let you not have a mom. My daddy wasn't there. My mom wasn't there. You better be glad. <laughs> you better be glad. You can be more jacked up. That's I'm, I'm defunct, dysfunctional. Uncle, who's not? Your president is dysfunctional. Who are you? Everybody is dysfunctional. What are you crying for? That spins everywhere. Come on in God. Come on in God. Come and say, come on in God. Your life don't stop with left wing, right wing, Republican, Democrat, Independent, Evangelic, and whatever, Jerry, or whatever. It don't matter about all that. You know what I'm saying? You got to say, I got a life. Before this, I had a life. You better go back and get your life and live it here. You better go back and find your life. And you better start enjoying the journey. You better start moaning and complaining. <laughs> you, well, you understand? They owe me an apology and they didn't even apologize. They didn't care. Hey. Why you know the thing? I never come back. You better live. Yeah. You know, but, uh, I, 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 you know what I, I want to get some clothes. You better get some clothes you're quick. <laughs> That's foolishness. That TV talk. <laughs> I don't have no cl clothes. Your girl ain't in your comments. You ain't talking like that. <laughs> clothes. <laughs> clothes. Your bad language says closure. You can't define closure. Get your butt up, stop moaning, and live your life. Let's go. Straight up. That's right. Amen. One, half, three. Amen. Support, support group. Amen. All of them sick. Come on. Who's supporting who? Who hit it who? Right. You all think the same. Right. Y'all talking the problem. Yeah. So how is that support? Yeah. You know.
know you was on drugs when you came in here. Okay. Yes, I did it. I did it, and I did it. <laughs> so everybody said they did it. Now who came out of it? Okay. They keep telling you, you say you is. And, you, and, and then you get up and say you're a part of that. Yeah. I'm a drug addict. My name is. And I'm waiting that this person smokes some more. <laughs> You follow what I'm saying? I, 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 you, you get the point. She's non delivered. Non delivered. So it ain't that the dope, it's your mouth. It's your mind. It's your mind. That's right. See, you, now, true enough, you've been in, you've been in that, that place 30 days and you ain't had none, but your mind ain't changed. Your mind still wants some. Uh-huh. Uh, you with me, huh? Because the appetite, see, you got to do something with the appetite. The appetite of your understanding, the appetite of your tongue. When that changed, the appetite changed. Because you can, you, can, you can be abstaining because you can't get to it. <laughs> but you go right back. See? Right. See? Ooh, it's real whoops, right here again. Hello. Hello. Come on, man. You, you, you get the message? Yeah. But it's God before me. Hey. We're in the revelation show. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it. Yeah. See, when, when, you, when you discover it, come on here, that you ain't got to smoke the plant, you create the plant. Mm. You can on, prophesy. Man. You can be like Adam and get a position, and you name the thing. Mm. Now you need to go back and rename that thing that's against you. Mm. Yeah. You, you follow me? You, you need to be renamed the thing. Right. You got the power to rename it. Right. Come on, Adam. Right. I, I made you like me. Yeah. And God would never make nothing that can overpower you. Right. How, how you be the creator become subject to the creation? Come on now. You ain't heard nothing I say. Come on now. Come on, Come on here. You gotta hear this. Are you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, nobody is, is superior to you. Mm -hmm. A man not superior to you. A woman not superior to you. You both men the image and likeness of God. Yeah. Get, it, get in your position. Let it rock. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, the car the car doesn't compete with the steering wheel. Yeah. It matches its position. Yes, sir. It matches its position. Yeah. Yeah. Tire coming to cut slap and the standing wheel side there. <laughs> no, it's just stays in its position. It all works together. Because yeah. 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 when you go in for your checkup, I'm gonna get mine too. They will check everything, even the all. Come on, it ain't, come it ain't even shown. Even the hidden parts. Yeah. Right. It's all right. It's all right. Mm -hmm. But I know what make you run. Come on. I know. I know if you don't get no all, I know you ain't gonna look good no more. That's real. Yeah. See the hidden things. Yeah. See everything's important to God. Yeah. Everything's important to God. Yeah. See it takes all of that to work together for the good. Yeah. Amen. That's good. That's good. Uh huh. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Let's we'll keep moving right back up. So now I believe we are third. Twenty nine. For those whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed. <laughs> To the image of his son, mm -hmm. so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Now, what's it say? So, now we talk about four new. Let's, talk, let's work on four new. Mm -hmm. Four new. In other words, I knew you before. Come mm -hmm. on now. I knew you before. For you ever got in your mama, you ever got in your daddy, I knew you. Mm -hmm. Four new. So, so when God deals with you, he deals with you with, with his four new love. Yeah. Come on now. That's good. Wow. Okay. He did with you with the far new love. Not, not, not. Watch this. I don't love. See, man loves you because they know you. I just met you, and so I love you to the point of your mistake. And when you make a mistake, it's hard for me to get past that mistake you made. Yeah, but Mongo, yeah. But God say, I for loves you. I chose you, knowing that you could live up to the love that I'm supplying you. Wow. 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 I chose you knowing that you had issues. Come on now. I love you knowing that you would be the woman at the well that would have several husbands. Come on now. Mm. I, Peter, I foreknow you, knowing that you that I, that you would be one of my main disciples, but you would doubt me. I love you past that. Say. Mm. Is anybody, is it, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Yeah. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? See, I, I foreknew. I foreknew you. Before you ever got in your, your mama, before you ever sperm in your daddy, you had a relationship with me in the beginning. Thank you, Lord. I, I so love you that, that I crucified my son before he ever got on the cross. Mm -hmm. 
Because he was slain before the foundation of the world. Before the Romans ever touched him, I crucified him. I started the process in the invisible. That it would make sense in the physical. <laughs> Is anybody hearing this truth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, say he for love me. He for love me. Love me. Nobody, nobody ain't forgave you. God got it. He got it. Right. Yeah. Huh? See, see, part yeah. of the revelation, as I back up, it's going to make more sense to you. As I back up, you're going to see. Forgive yourself. Thank you. See Hallelujah. See, deliverance starts when you forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. Come Hallelujah. on. Yeah. And, and then you lose yourself from those that they don't even know they hurt you. They may know or may not know, but I, I release you. And I ain't talking about being bitter and wishing them bad. Mm -hmm. Right, come on. I had, some, I, had, I had a guy one time, I worked for the government, and uh, he was just giving me hell and all kind of, he thought he was, I mean, all kind of low scores. You know what I pray? I say, God, give him a promotion. Get him out of my way. Amen. Do something with him, but get, get him out of this yes. department. Yes. I, I, I didn't want him to be jobless. I don't have that yes. kind of heart. Right. I understand right. today's economy, and I had enough love. I said, no, I don't want to be jobless. Because God would have made him out of He just don't know he's fooling with because right. <laughs> see, I'll talk to God, he'll dismantle you. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. When God is for you, mm -hmm. you better make sure people are on the same side you and God are. Because right. anything can happen to you when God is for me. Right. You don't want to mess with me when God is for you. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Wow. You don't be one of those that's trying to come against me when God is for me. Because yeah. Yeah. your whole life will get dismantled. Amen. Mm. It'll get interrupted. Yes. You got so good. Come on. I said, no weapon formed against you. That's right. No Come on here. No when, baby, when you get rid of crowd assignment with God, and you got a mandate, a mandate, a mandate to be there by Wednesday, and here comes some fool messing with you on Monday, Come on. you better get on the right side of heaven. Because you in hell messing with me. Yeah. You're about to come up off the earth because I got to be somewhere Wednesday at 10 and you're hindering me. Yeah. If God be for me, you better back up. Right. Yeah. 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 See, see, oh. see, when you're walking on the if God be for me anointing, oh. <laughs> when you're walking on the if God be for me anointing, oh. you can walk up to someone and say, now, sir, I know you don't know me. But if God is for me, if you have me, your whole company going to change by 5 o'clock tomorrow. Contract's going to be sold. You ain't hear nothing I said. Huh? You ain't hear I know what I'm talking about. I lived there. I didn't have to spend, but I was anointed. I'm on a job right now. I ain't got to work a computer. You ain't hear nothing I said. But if you have me, your system will change. Amen. Someone said 15 years later. What was temporary became permanent. Because if you're happy, because God was for me. You didn't hear nothing I said. When God is for you, death can't mess with you. When God is for you, sickness can't overtake you. When God, heart attack will come. But when God is for you, he'll, he'll make the heart go back and do what he's supposed to do. Come on, thank you, God. Yeah, try to take you out of God's way. He got books to go back. Mm -hmm. He got books and tapes to write. He got places to be. Mm -hmm. He got Connie, Connie, Connie Hall to work. Come on. Say. You hear nothing I say. See, when God is for you, he'll let your assignment keep you alive. Mm -hmm. When your body want to do one thing, but the assignment would only take the physical. Come on now. And say, so you got to be right. right. Say. Is anybody here? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. When God is for you. When God is for you, go in the courtroom without a lawyer. Yes. Come on here. And it'll yes. swing your way. Yes. Because God is for you. Amen. The judge will look Amen. at you and say, hey, God is for your anointing. <laughs> and make his verdict over to God before you anoint him. <laughs> oh, I know it's not good either, but I bet you it's registered. Yes. Uh-huh. You walk up on, you walk up on, uh, 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 I had a friend of mine, a pastor friend of mine, was walking in, 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 in one of them God, God moments. One of them God before your anointings. And he went to get a car. Donald went to get a car. And, and, and stuff didn't look right on paperwork. And so the owner got a hold to the paperwork. And he said, well, I want you to see this paperwork right here. And we can't move forward. He said, make this happen. Don't y'all go nowhere. Make this deal happen. 
30 minutes later, she was driving out with a bad credit with a brand new car. Yeah. 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 She said, go ahead, son. That's about the mechanics of the doctor. Well, the show was not the show. Then they had people on our cruise of this. Right. You ain't heard nothing else yet. You ain't heard nothing else yet. There was a lady in my church that was sitting under the same anointing. Mm -hmm. You ain't heard nothing. Now see, you know where I'm finna go with that. There was a lady that was sit, used to work with us, and, and she was a member of our church, and, and, and she was getting put out. And 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 prophet, she looked at me, she came to me, she says, um, so and so and so and so is getting put out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she said, um, what do you think about her coming and staying? I said, let's hold up a minute. Mm -hmm. Was it was it me or was it you? Which one was it? You kept, how was it? It was me because Okay, don't go I don't want you to be I she shouldn't have been in the house. Okay. Okay. So so therefore the lady, we could have let her come. But we rushed agreement and said, Hold up. Let let let's let God move in this situation. Amen. So yes. so the day huh? yes. So the day came. The day came. The next day came. And, and true enough, they was moving her stuff out of her house. Mm -hmm. You hear that? I see. Mm -hmm. They was moving her stuff out of her house, and someone had seen her. They seen her in the place one time. They didn't know her. They seen her one time in the place, and this person that seen her was manager of some apartments in North Dallas. Mm -hmm. And when they seen her putting her stuff out. Wow. They walked up to her and said, what's going on? She said, spread them, I get me evicted. The lady that, that run the apartments on the bad apartments in North Dallas, because mm -hmm. there ain't too many bad places in North Dallas. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm going to send a truck here, and they're going to pick up your stuff. Mm -hmm. They're going to move you in mm -hmm. to those apartments, and she got a month rent free. If God be for you, I know. Uh, if God be, if, if God be for you. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, see, yeah, see, yeah, see, right. see, see, you, you, you got to, but now watch this here. Yeah. But see, you got to wipe out that it's over. Yeah. Yeah. You got to yeah, wipe out. Yeah. See, you, yeah, yeah. You, you, you understand the, what, what's going through. You understand they're putting you out, but God never puts you out without putting you in. Thank you, Lord. Is anybody, I'm talking to somebody yeah. today. You, you ask your ear, you ask that woman, what, God, I have no work. Nothing to do. Uh, we're going to cure that in a minute by the description. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. I'm going to show you something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you your weakness in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you really what your weakness is in a minute. Mm -hmm. But see, God always got When you don't have a plan, that's when God's plan show up. Oh, it's right. behind the plan. Amen. When you got all the things you do, <laughs> when you got all the people to call, come on here. You follow what I'm saying? And sometimes when we get in those moments, we think nobody cares. And, you know, nobody likes me. My mama don't like me. My dad don't like me. My husband don't like me. My wife don't like me. And God's trying to get rid of all your likes. And I'm trying to make you fall in love with the actions of God. Amen. Are you following? Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Don't watch this here. Don't watch this here. Don't watch this here. Always about him. Always about him. So, so, now, so now he said, we, we deal with that. So now, now let's, let's, go up to, let's go up to 28. We know that all, see, we, we all love this one here. We know that all things work together for good to those who are, those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. See, even, even the, the, the adversity that you're walking through has to eventually line up with the purpose of God. Right. It's bigger than you. Even your mistake got to come back and line up with the purpose of God. Thank you, Lord. Is anybody hearing this? Yeah. Yeah. I got cussed out. I did this, and I didn't mean to do this. Okay, all of that gonna come back and line up with the purpose of God. Are, are you following what I'm saying? He gonna take your mess and make a message out of it. He gonna take your mess and make it be a, a New York bestseller. You hear that? I'm saying. You working on your wealth with your mess. Thank you. Thank you. you hear nothing I say? Uh -huh. I ain't never write, I ain't never wrote a book for in my life. You write one now with your mess. Come on now. And then God going to edit your mess and put it on New York's best time show. He said, we don't let them know this about you. We'll hold that part. Grace will hold that one. But we'll let them know about this, but Grace will hold that. Is anybody, is anybody following? Is anybody scared with her? I'm at your address. Just hang on. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> if anybody here, just I'm gonna ring the doorbell in a minute. Something going, something going to wake up in you and realize, oh, he's talking to me. Mm -hmm. right. Now watch this here, watch this here, watch this here, watch this here. Y'all getting this here? So, mm -hmm. so he says here, mm -hmm. we know that all, we know that not some things, all things. Oh, oh, see that? Okay. But that's yes. a big shh. Yes. Man, that's a big We know. We are y'all looking at this here? Yes. We oh, know that yeah. all things work together for oh, good. good. All things yes. work together. Yes. The bad, the ugly. Come on, it all gonna work together for your good. The divorce, come on here. The rejection, no father.
father, no mother, no job, sick, work. It's all going to work together for the purpose of God. Amen. Anybody hear this? Yeah. How in the world can this work? And all that. Do you understand, Father, what I'm going through? You must, let me introduce myself to you. Don't say, no, you better let me talk to you for a minute. <laughs> Come on here. He's going to use your mess, your mess for bait for somebody to come into the kingdom. Thank come on when somebody's about to give up, come on here. Because you. in life, you're going to find somebody. Come on. See, what, what's happening? You are a forerunner now for, for the adversity that you're in. You're a forerunner. You, 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 you up in that now. Because when somebody run into it, you can say, baby, you ain't got to die. You ain't got to kill yourself. Just because you have an abortion. You can make it, baby. Baby, I was on to You can make it, baby. I wasn't a good father. I wasn't a good mother. Yeah. Baby, you ain't got to give up. Yeah. Come on, but that yes. person's been buried in him. Thank so, you. Yes. You heard nothing I said. Yes. So you want to thank God, he buried all that crap. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on, you come for like grandma. Yes. See it right. And he's going to take you out. 
Yes, See what yes. it is. Your faith is on trial. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it ain't about the devil. Your faith on trial. Yes. Devil ain't been at your house in years. Your faith, your, your, your knowledge is on trial. Yes. It's what you know of God. I don't care how much it is. All, if all you know he helps, then your help is on trial. Right. Come on now. <laughs> you ain't got to know. I ain't never read the whole Bible. What does that mean? I ain't never read the whole Bible. Okay, Ian, so you ain't never read what that's supposed to mean. Sir. You probably wouldn't remember it if you did. But you know the author. If I just introduce you to the author yes, sir. of your faith. Come on. Huh? Huh? Is anybody here in this room? Are you, are you Mrs. Kim? Yes. Watch this here. Watch this here. So now, let us move 27. He who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is mm -hmm. because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, they going to do with that. Yeah. What you gonna do with that? Well, listen, 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 listen. Why are you tripping? The Holy, why are you panicking? The, the Holy Spirit in you is working. Thank you. You without words, but the Holy Spirit's not. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Holy Spirit, when you want to die, Holy Spirit still dealing with that spirit. Mm -hmm. huh. He who searches the heart, the Spirit, knows what the mind of the Spirit is. It's God's Spirit because He intercedes for the saints according to the will, according to the plan, according to the purpose of God. Come on now. See, God is in a seat of you past your situation. Amen. He got to make sure that whatever's dealing with you, don't mess up the plan of God. Come on now. Amen. Is anybody here in this year? Yes. You ain't no, don't worry about it. You ain't finna lose because God ain't, God ain't going to let nothing take him out that he done told. He, he will not become a liar in your situation. Come on now. Thank you. Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do. Holy Spirit said, I do. I know what he's going to do. <laughs> what he's been doing for the right. kicking butts right. and taking names right. for the foundation of the world. Don't you panic. I got it. Right. Stay Hello. Focused. Stay tuned. Come on now. <laughs> Good work. Stay focused. That's right. He'll do like he told Joseph. Come. When Satan tried to tell him, mess with Joseph, Joseph, I mean, Jesus said, God said, tempt him, but don't destroy. Come on. Y'all let you mess with in a few days. Go on, mess with mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have a smoothie or something, you know. Yes. God know what he was going to do. You know, God chill it. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, it's like to see God whistling. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, and, and, and I'm talking about uh, Santa giving, getting drunk is all the best he got. Uh -huh. Takes his kids, take everything. Oh, Wife, well, everything. Uh -huh. And then God steps in. Mm -hmm. That's enough. I got plans for his life. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give him more than he ever had. Amen. I'm going to make him more happy than he ever been. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to divorce him from his past. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to make his now relevant. Mm -hmm. So relevant mm -hmm. to him. He thought he just got here today. You hear nothing I see. Come on, Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. Remember, you're not the former things. Mm -hmm. Neither consider the things of old. Oh! I do a new thing. Come on, man. Yes. Is anybody hearing this? Is yes. anybody hearing this here? Yes. If God be for you now, who can be against you? Come on. So he said, he who searches the heart knows all things, what the mind of the Spirit is, because he will see for the saints according to the will of God. Now, let's move up to 26. Likewise, likewise. Likewise. Someone say likewise. likewise. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. Oh, you got to hear this. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. Do we see that? Yes. But let me show you what it ain't talking about. It ain't talking about sin. It's not talking about sin. When he declares weakness, he is not talking about sin right here. Let me help you out. Because immediately when you say weakness, people start identifying their life with sin. Mm -hmm. He's not dealing with sin. Let me show you what the weakness is. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. Now watch this. For we know not what we pray for as we ought. Oh, 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 that's the weakness. The weakness, you don't know what to pray for as you ought. That's the weakness. Because you don't know what to pray for. Medica, come on up here, Medica. Thank you. Sit next to Sister Linda's Bible there. Thank you, Jesus. Now, did y'all did, did catch that? Yes, sir. Now, let's go back. What was the week we in Romans 8? Brother, brother, um, what? Likewise, the Spirit help, help us in our weakness. I told you that ain't sin. The weakness is, for we know not what to pray for as we are. 
Come That's on, the weakness. Because I, I'm in so much hell, I don't know how to pray right. Mm. I'm so hurt and confused and pissed off, really, and don't want to forgive. Uh -huh. I don't know what to pray for. Yeah. Come on, Al. So the weakness is you don't know how to pray. Right. You don't know what to pray for. Because some things is past words. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. You ain't been in no trial until it come past words. Until <laughs> you got no words for it. Mm. You got no words for it. You thought that other one, this is crazy, man. Mm -hmm. You got no words for it. Say. Huh? So likewise, the Spirit helpeth us in our weakness, for we know not what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit mm -hmm. himself intercede for us with groanings too deep for words. Come on. Oh, well, my father said too deep, too deep for words. We just said that, right? Yeah. It's too deep. See, something is too deep. Something is just breathtaking. It's too deep to even talk about. It's even the council. Say. Huh? Likewise, the Spirit helps us, us in our weakness, for we we do not know what to pray for as we are, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. My God, huh? Come on, so you have a Holy Spirit living in you that know all things. Come on. Yes. It, 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 it knows what the enemy is about to do. Yes. It on, knows man. the strategy of the yes. adversary that's trying to pull you down. You're about at the door of a blessing, and here comes some stupid stuff. You know you should have got the promotion, but all of a sudden you ain't getting it now. You know you should have got the house. You know this should, this misunderstanding should never happen, but now, now the Holy Spirit reveals what's going on. Because the Holy Spirit will talk to you. Yes. Oh, he will talk to you. Amen. Oh, he, when you calm down, he will talk to you. Tell you don't get pissed off. Don't get mad. That ain't even what that is. Dude, I'm going to call her and give her peace. No, I don't want you to give her peace of mind. We're going to give her the mind of God. Come on, Matter of fact, we ain't even talking. Mm. No, I want to call her. Let me call her and tell her right now. You got a full conversation going on. Ain't nobody in the house but you. <laughs> they ain't even there. You act like you're talking to them. You just talking. Yes, now, don't play with me. You see what I'm saying? And the Holy Spirit said, just calm down. Mm. Just calm down. Mm. And then God do, so, do an invisible job on your enemy. Amen. Mm. See, God about to do some invisible stuff. He about to ambush your enemy in secret. That's right. See, you want to cuss them out and God for to bless them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. God going to speak something prophetic on their life. Yes. Speak. Huh? You hear nothing I say. Just listen, listen, listen. Let's go. He says, so, so now, let's look, let, let's look at 25. But, but if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Come on. See, that's that confidence now. Yeah. That's going to move that if out the way. Because now that's confidence. Come on. If, if, I wait, if I'm waiting for something that I don't see, then I got to know something. See? So, if it's not even my option. Yeah. Right. Amen. Because if I'm waiting for what I have not seen, then I got to know something to wait for something that I haven't seen. Come on now. I'm trying to talk to somebody right now. Right. You, 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 see, you got to grow up in it. See, if you're going to be a part of this culture, you got to think like this. Come, Come, on, Come on, Abraham 4. Come on, right yeah. over in Romans 4. Yeah. Yeah. But it talks about over in Romans 4. And Abraham calling those things to be not as though they were. See, see, you can't spend your time just praying all the time. You done prayed about that. Mm. No, I, I wouldn't pray. You prayed about your husband last week. You prayed about the kids last week. When you going to speak to the speak to the judges? You're not bad. You're good. Come on now. You're not dumb. You're smart. Say. Speak to that bank account. No, no, no. You ain't running in the red. You overflow with green. That's right. Huh? There's a green anointing going to hit you. Yeah. I mean, even green anointing. Yeah. I got to hear what I'm saying. Do y'all understand what the Holy Spirit is about to do? Do you understand that the Holy Spirit is for you? Do you understand this isn't just a scripture? This is a prophetic word today? If God be for you, who can be against you? What was once against you will now work for you? Yes, sir. Amen. After this message today, I, I dare you to walk out here and believe what I said. Mm -hmm. I dare you to believe the prophet. Mm -hmm. And I promise, mm -hmm. I promise you, you're going to see life differently. Mm -hmm. You got Amen. to choose to, to live bad. After this word today, you got to choose to live bad. Yeah. Hello, come the on. The word now. say, if I be for you. Say. Come on here. Come on here. If I be for you, who? Mm -hmm. Who can be 
you get your money. Say, Come on. I've given you all things to pertain to life and godliness. Amen. If I be for you, who can make it? Hello. Thank you, Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Yes. God, God did not create you for us to be destitute. Come on now. To live or not have life. And watch folks have and you not have. You ain't happy. Come on, you ain't glad, you ain't got no joy, you sick, you broke. But Lord, I come to church, that ain't good enough, baby, because you're coming to a building. I'm talking about a relationship. You come home every day, that don't constitute you married. You can have a person last name and don't know what to do with it. I remember years ago, honey, she might not believe, remember this bar, remember, it was somebody we know and I won't, I won't put, put their position in it, but, but we was in this big night, she, Probably took it to one of her, one of the places where she shopping, and they had nice stuff, I mean nice hot dollar stuff in there, and and, and and her husband wanted to lavish her real good, and and, and, and the woman did, didn't know the value of the name she was married to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she looking for the basement session mm -hmm. section, and and, and and you know, and, and, and he said, honey, whatever you want, mm -hmm. and she over there tripping. Mm -hmm. yeah. My wife, my wife, like, girl, can I get to me, cool, get to me, get to me. See, when you don't know the fact, when you don't know what you stand in the relationship, you can get abused. And, you got to know what you got to know your rights in the relationship. Yeah. I mean, when you call on God for little Johnny, you got knucklehead body in the back, Willie Smith in the corner. Don't let, don't let him just say, Johnny, let him hit the whole house. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? I know you're busy, but, but, but can you can you fix the old Ford over here? Well, why he fix? He can bless you with a new one. Yeah. 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 God, God, I just need my red paint. How did it get your house? Is anybody hearing? Yes. Is, 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 is anybody hearing? Yes. I'm going to have time to show y'all another mystery. Y'all got ready for another mystery? Yes. Yes. See, you, you got to understand where you stand with God. Yes. Come on, here. You got to understand where you stand with God. God's a cool dude. Yes, yes. He's a cool dude. See, you know, we got God. I don't know what we make God in, but God is cool. Yes, so, he, is. I mean, he, he got swag too, right? He's funny too. Yes, yes. Remember, we laugh at stuff. You know, we ride out till we laugh at stuff. I mean, I seen an old car once. I was looking at it. He said, You remember, yeah, that? I said, Come on, go. I'll leave you alone. Come on, come here, try to be booze. Yeah, that's Joe. <laughs> 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 okay, see, now, now you religious people, he ain't gonna talk to you like that. Ooh, ooh, you, 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 you know, I don't have to count about it. God's cool, God's cool, dude. Yes, he is. He loves to laugh. I'm telling you. Get him laughing, you can do anything you want. Come on, God over there. Come on in. Now watch this here, watch this here. So he says here, but if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it to be patient. See that? Now let's move to 25, 24. For we are saved through hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does a man still hope for what he sees? Now you're seeing some stuff. You're seeing what you couldn't see, you see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, now, now you gotta keep your belief system in. Uh -huh. See, well, after you see it, you gotta keep your belief system in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Watch this here. Ooh, wait a Let, let's go back up. Let's go back up. 23. Not only that, but we also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown within ourselves while eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our bodies. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Come on, nothing can attack that body. Come on, here. come on. Come on, that body's coming in sync with spirit. Yes, you, your spirit telling your body, you can't wear out. Mm 
hell. Cause, Cause he got too much destiny. That's right. Mm -hmm. He got many, he got too many moves to make in the spirit. Yes, yes. Sir. He got too many dance moves to do. You yes. can't tell about it. Oh, yes, come on now. <laughs> Let's go. Are y'all hearing this? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> we know that the whole creation groans and develops in pain until now. Christians groan in. Groan in. Who are they groaning for? Sons. Come on. Sons of God. People mature, people with relationships. Come on. People that know they God. People that know that, that they can't be whooped. They can't be stopped. Come on now. People that know it ain't no end to this. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, when they walk on the scene, they know that, that I'm going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Say. See, I'm talking people with, the, with one of them Goliath anointings. Right. Right. They'll walk up to the giant yeah. okay. and say, yeah. you come with both, you come with spirit. Yeah. But I come in the name of the Lord. I'm going to take your head off. I'm going to take yes. your authority. See, here the thought. I'm going to dismantle your government. I'm going to take your rule of operation. I'm going to take your infrastructure. When you tell the devil, see, you feel annoyed when you tell the devil, I'm going to take your infrastructure. I'm going to knock you out of balance. And not only that, I'm going to take what you was going to kill me with, I'm going to kill you with it. Get, I'm going to use five smooth stones, F-A-I-T-A, Knock your head off, then I'm gonna take the sword and yeah, cut, cut your, your head off. What you gonna kill me? I'm gonna kill you with it. Mm -hmm. Say, hello, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna reverse the words <laughs> and use them against you. Is anybody here? Is anybody here? Is anybody here? Girl, she cussed you out. She just low in language, that's all. <laughs> she just low in language, y'all. She's she speaking about it. She, uh -huh. <laughs> she did not know. Uh -huh. she, she don't have anything. Y'all see Tony, y'all. Don't worry about you. I'm gonna cut you out. What does this supposed to mean? That means you didn't know me. You called me out of my you didn't know me. I ain't none of that. You MF, you okay. All right. So who that? Do that. I mean, I mean, they don't know you. That's, I'm not gonna fit in the fact. Yeah, she called you. Yeah, she can't have it. She don't know my name. Thank you. Only important people know me. Mm -hmm. She's not among that yet. Mm -hmm. She has not been converted mm -hmm. to know me. It's not getting on time to know me. Yeah. I mean, see, don't get mad when you're a mystery to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're just a mystery. Mm -hmm. They don't know you yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't know you, so hey, you just keep walking. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. They're supposed to know you. But who's supposed to know you would know you. Amen. Amen. Boy, it's new Ruth. Yes. Come on here. Let's go. He just go, hey, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he just go, hey, hey. <laughs> it was a divine connection. It's a divine connection. Yeah. See, when it's supposed to be, you ain't got to do none of that. None of those gestures yes. and right. extra Come stuff. Yeah. You know, the extra right. stuff. When it was supposed to be, you know, it's just a chemistry. Yeah. It's a chemistry. You know. You know how you do it. How you do it. You just need to just work out. All them hellos just keep. We're going to add up to something eventually. <laughs> Y'all get, get that tomorrow. Don't y'all get deep on that. So it says here, what's it So, so wait, wait, 23 or what, 22? 22. We know that the whole creation groaning and treaded in pain until now. 21. That the creation itself also will be set free from its slavery to corruption and the glorious freedom of the children of God. <laughs> we back it up getting all this here. We back it up. <laughs> My God, we move forward. How we back it into this thing? Let's go. You, you, you tell him to just sit here. You tell my child now. Yeah, now this is, this, I ain't preaching a historical message. Mm -hmm. It's about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And really, it's more about who ain't here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> right. Oh, Jesus, watch this here. Watch this here. So, what we, we had to get 21? That the creation itself also will be set free from the slavery to corruption, to the glorious freedom of the children of God. Say, God going to free me from, from the slavery of the system. God's going to free me from the slavery of the system. He freed me. Come on, praise God. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, brother. I'm saying, free. That's what he had been. Amen. Watch this here. Watch this here. Watch this here. For the creation was subject to fertility, not willingly, but, but by the will of him who subjected in hope. 
The eager expectation of the creature waiting for the appearance of the sons of God. See? You got, you got, you got to warm it up, man up, mature up, that you can present yourself as, as a son. Now, now let's go back to, to 18 and we're going to move on and we're going to stop. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not to be worthy to compare with the glory which shall be revealed where? In, in us. us. Yes. See, it's going down in you. Yes. What's going to happen? Yes. Going to happen in, it ain't going to happen outside of you. It's going to happen. You, yes. you are the one that God's going to use. Amen. Come on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. In your story, you're going you're gonna to be the main character. Thank you, Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Do, you, do you understand? He said, for I consider that the suffering of this present is not to be, see, what you're going through ain't going to be, it's not going to be compared to what's about to be revealed Hallelujah. through you. Hallelujah. See, that's why the enemy is trying to attack you, mm -hmm. because he knows what's getting ready to come forth. That's right. Come on. Man. Come on. Yeah. They're going to look, for, see, some people, you, you're getting ready to go and reintroduce yeah. yourself again. Right. Mm -hmm. They thought they knew Brother White. No, that, oh, he buried. Mm -hmm. This is a new one. Mm -hmm. this, okay. is the one, this is the one that you was fighting from coming forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He done arrived now. That's right. It's his name. Come on now. Is anybody here this here? Yes. Hello, ladies. Hey. You see what I'm saying? You got to introduce yourself to some people. Yeah. Come on, man. You got to introduce yourself to some people. Yeah. Right. They think they know you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, no. I'm lady. That's the one you met Monday. This is Friday. Oh. <laughs> And by, by the way, take that back. I don't need that. That's, hey! that's, hey! beneath, hey! that's beneath my woman. Hey! That's beneath my man. Oh, by the way, I'm just calling you. I don't want to talk. I just call it a nice meeting you. Don't call no more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I check you out one more time? That was the last time. <laughs> <laughs> because this woman doesn't identify with that man. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Are you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Does that make sense? Are you all are you yes. 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 See, God has put a demand on your greatness in this season. Hallelujah. You ain't got time for nobody to slow up your greatness. Amen. Thank oh. you, Lord. Thank you, what, what, what I'm saying? You, Thank you, Lord. Yes. You, 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 know, you, you need somebody that can think like God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I mean, you yes. need God think. Yes. Yes. You need somebody yes. that can think. You need a move with a shake on the history. Yes. 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 So you need somebody that can make it happen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going somewhere. You, you, yes. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what God told me this morning. When wrong people enter your life, you're going to do wrong stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's real. Yes. 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 When right people enter your life, you're going to do right stuff. Yes. Amen. 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 You people gather around you by the appetite of your soul. Mm -hmm. When your mind is crazy, it pick up everything else that's crazy. Yes. They come attached wow. to you. Yes. Wow. You meet them on the highway. Yes. Leave home pissed off. You, you find everybody on the road pissed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. Throwing, up, throwing up birds and everything, yeah. fingers yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. They got that spirit on you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Leave home in peace. You never out. Oh. They let you in on everything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, you angry? Right. Angry people, they, they, don't, they know I ain't. Anger, no ain't. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll block you in and close where well, you can't get out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I bet y'all get the message. Yes. 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 I get the message. Thank you. It's not law of attraction. Law of attraction. But you attract whatever your spirit is. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Now, now, now you got to check that. If you keep tra tra attracting stupid people around you, you better stop. Stop looking at them. Look at you. That's right. Because why, why, why I get everybody crazy? Right. Exactly. Why everybody baby you? When a, when a man sees, hey, baby. Now, that ain't, that ain't good. If you get too many of them, that is something. You better check you out. Yes. There ought to be some gentlemen just open it up. Here you go. Amen. Yes. Hey, baby, can I have your number? Do I look like you can have my number? Do I look What would you do with it if you had it? Can you do you know the devil is one and two? I know. <laughs> See, you can't let nobody waste your time anymore. Ain't time for that. No. Is anybody? Is anybody? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you, I just met you. You want my number? Mm. I, that's insulting. Yeah. I don't know who you are. You could be a rapist, a killer. Yeah. And you want my number? Can I get you? Well, no, you can't get that either. Mm. Mm. 
See, that, 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 that don't sound, that's our mean, do No. Baby, let me tell you, hello could cost you 20 years of your life. Say, man. I know, they just got through speaking. Uh, she, uh, 20 days spoke, she spoke to this guy 20 years ago, and she just answered him completely the other day. Wow. <laughs> it took her that long to find out what that was. Just, just from a dinner day, a dinner day trapped her life 20 years. Oh, baby, you sure look fine. As if she didn't know before, before she left the mirror. <laughs> that wasn't prophecy. Oh. That was lust. Yeah. Come on, she thought it was prophetic. That was pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> you, didn't know you, you didn't know you looked pretty when you left home? You just blushing? Right. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. If God be for you. Yeah. Huh? If God be for you. Now let me show you something. And you know, God, I ain't gonna stay here long because I know it's getting uncomfortable now. No. 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 This is a very uncomfortable part of the message. No. No. When people start talking about the mates and all of this stuff here, and then people act like they, they have no desire, like, like they Paul, this is gonna be sick. You lying, you burning like I don't know why. <laughs> well, you gotta get yourself together. Come on, you gotta get yourself together. Slow down and realize you're important. Yes. This is your life, Thank and you Lord. just can't attach anybody to you. Yes. This yes. is your life. Yes. I want a baby. I want a baby by him. Huh? Yes. Yes. He is a baby. Yes. Oh. Somebody at home with their mama. Uh -huh. so, I ain't got. Cause I love children. I'm just on it. This is this is commercial break. Right? I mean, I don't know how. I, I, I just it, it, it got to be funny now. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm just saying. People crazy. I mean. Women are just women are just. I just want his baby. Man. He ain't got to do. He ain't got to take care of. I've heard that. They show that on TV. That that them are shows now. That's crazy. Yeah, they sure do. Yeah. That's great. Your life, your life is bigger than that. Amen. God has so much planned for you. Oh, thank you because Lord. he fought you, you before the foundation of the world. Thank you. Come so on. Thank and just because so you did do something dumb, you, you ain't got you Don't let your mistake identify you now. Thank you. Thank you need to write that down. I don't care where you came from. Do not let your mistake identify your now. It happened and it's over. But it won't Amen. happen again. I, I bow my head so many times. Now I'm woke. Yeah, now I understand. Yes. Come on here. Real. Come on here. You come on, you know. Amen. You your life ain't got time to go back the other way. Amen. Amen. Anybody Amen. hearing this here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh go to go over to the guy. I guess I'll show you. I guess I'll show you sweet. Y'all yeah, okay? Y'all okay. yes. 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 So it's not my season season to lose. It's not my season to lose. God say God is divorcing failure out of my life. God is divorcing failure. He's divorcing everything that don't work out of my life. He's divorcing people that ain't supposed to be out of my life. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Now, I, now I'm gonna be honest with you. Whenever God begins to elevate you, everything can go up on the elevator with you. I'm just gonna be honest with you now. Now, now a lot of folks be talking about promotion and, 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 and Sister Willie was, was 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 my best friend and I've been on Sister Willie 40 years. 40 years. Well, you may not know I'm 41. Because God be racist. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, you ain't hear nothing. You ain't hear nothing I said. See, sometimes we, the problem is saying goodbye. Uh -huh. We have a trouble. We, we'll yes. speak, but it's hard to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes it's just hard to say goodbye. Some people have been abused so long. Coming to not be abused is, is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You gotta know when to no say goodbye. Right. You gotta know when to say it's over. Mm. Mm. You Speak. gotta know when to say no more. That's right. Speak. You gotta know no, no, that door's don't open that door. Come on. If the door is closed, leave it closed. Amen. Don't wake that sleeping giant up no more. Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord. you ain't that miserable mm. that you go back to misery. Mm. You go back to the funny. God yeah. can deliver you from I'm talking to somebody right now. God deliver you from bond, and then you get home and love it. You want to call it. Mm. You want to call that spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What you doing? Mm -hmm. The same that. thing you were doing ten years ago, making me miserable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is real. What you doing? Yeah. Miserable. Now that I answered your call. Mm. Yeah. Wow. All right, but you ain't, uh, you ain't got to do nothing. Nobody know what she just looks straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't be looking around and trying to see who. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. 
You gonna get on six times five? Damn! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> God, ain't God got a sense of humor? Y'all okay? Y'all yeah. still love yeah. me? Yeah. 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 Can nobody put me out? Ain't got no deacons for having nobody kids on me. I ain't sponsored by Tyler. Uh, uh, Cal Law came out there bright and take you there. Facebook's free. <laughs> Hey, are y'all okay? Yeah. Now, now go, go, go somewhere. Let's go to Luke 15. Okay. Hey. Hey. Well, you got something you want to add to this? Anything you want anything you want to add to this here? Anything you want to add to this here? Just down a part. No, that no one understands that 50% of your prayer is listening. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not at all. Okay. Because most of the time, it, you don't start talking about the crop. Yeah. And that's temporary stuff. Why are you wasting time talking about temporary stuff? That's right. When you need to be connecting to the eternal. Mm -hmm. See, so 50% of your prayer, you got, and see, and that's a training, that's a training of your flesh to learn how to sit down and be still mm -hmm. to become more intimate with the Father. Mm -hmm. Come on. You know, that's, that's the big deal right mm -hmm. there. Because the flesh always thinks you got to be doing something. Mm -hmm. Or else the phone go right. What you yeah. doing? Uh, yeah. Tell them, you know what, just cut through the chain. Talking to God, I said, see, I call you back later. If, if it's not on stream, or everything ain't finna die or something, talking to God, I have to get back with you. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to stop letting things distract your time with God. Because therefore you won't have no intimacy. Mm -hmm. And so therefore you be one of them ones that's always walking afar off instead of one of them ones that's walking close yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Close yeah. friends are in on secrets. Yeah. 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 Close things get yeah. yeah. secrets told. Yeah. Yeah. Far away yeah. friends, you ain't been know nothing about me, but yeah. my name is my body. <laughs> it's the people you start talking about deeper things, meaningful things. See, God will reveal meaningful things, important things to you. But if you are far off, you ain't going to know nothing about the fish in the load. You can get caught in the house. People get caught in the house without God, so don't do a trip right there. 50% of your prayer is spending time with God. And this is about a divine. This year, this whole season, is about a divine rehearsal of Christ in you. Mm. Hmm. A divine rehearsal. That's all it is. So you got to let God bring you up out of this look, that, that uh, corner mindset of uh, Andre the white, Andre mm. the, the fourth daughter, Andre that went to school, Andre, Andre the, the minister. Andre, you got you to gotta let Christ get you up out of it. Right. You gotta get out of you. The yeah. death is to die to yourself. You gotta die to your own ambitions, ambition. All of that so God can reveal to you the deity of him in you. Remember when Jesus walked the earth, he was not worried about what he was gonna eat because he knew what to create. If it wasn't no food, he could create it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't no money, he knew how to create and get the money on the same. See, so we got to understand it. And I mean, so when we do that, and we spend time, yo, the appetites of your flesh will start dying. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, when any time, if you're fasting, and get this revelation about fasting so you can learn how to fast. Because mm -hmm. you need to do that. But the fast ain't always about eating the lack of food. It's the lack of what the appetite of your flesh is requesting for. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like yeah. sometimes it just always want TV. God darn, yeah, they got their money. Quit looking at that. Go get your own money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I ain't hey, hey, everybody hey, their hey, money. Hey, right, it's right, their right, money. Right, right, right. I'm telling you, I went through some because I'm a football player. I love them. I'm not against none of that because God ain't mm -hmm. mad at y'all for looking at football. I love football. I was with it, but it was a seed to walk up on me. It was like, baby. I'm trying to reveal to you mm. about money because you got great things to do. Mm. They got their money come out. I was like, what the world? Then I thought, like, okay, I'm crazy. Ain't that crazy? Because I know his voice. So I'm like, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. You know, and I had to die to that part of my life because he wanted to reveal a, a greater side of him to me. That's me. Don't be trying to get on me. I'm just showing you some stuff how God will deal with you mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. when it gets to intimacy because this is about a divine rehearsal. Right of the Christ in you. Come on, Jesus now. was always walking the earth. What was he doing? Revealing God. Everybody showed yes, up. He, he was revealing God. He wasn't intimidated by nobody and nothing. Come on now. And that's how we that's how we must become. That's what that transformation is. That's what that renewing of the mind is for. Because mm -hmm. we're coming into back into the understanding of who we were before the fall ever started. Yeah. Come on. Um, 
That's how we got to get back into the mastery of life. Mm -hmm. He wants you to master. Come on, master this life. Stop letting this life master you. Come on, master. You get up and he said, I'm going to create my divine expression of myself in you. Mm -hmm. And you are so unique. Nobody else can do this part but you. Everybody else got their own part. Do yours and be the best at yours. So whenever you're on the scene, you look every joint supply and you give up your supply and do your part. Come on here and keep it moving. Y'all got that? Keep it moving. I ain't worried about what they probably do him good. I do me good. I ain't worried about that. But do your part. Do your part. You don't have to compare with anybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, we're going to see an awesome manifestation of God. Hallelujah. We, we are fulfilling prophecy in this day. Yes. Glory to God. There are things that were said that's happening. We are the sons and daughters of the prophets of the old. Come on here. Come on, we get ready to master the era of this time. Yes. Our time. Yes. Glory yes. to God. I said we're going to master it. Yes. Glory yes. to God. The old and the young coming together. Good God Almighty. And we've been to wipe our stuff. I don't know about y'all, but there's too much going on right now. Right. Look, you got to climb up out your seat of foolery. Come say, on now. Wait a minute. Hold up, you murdering spirit. I command you to get up out of here. Yes. Come on, come on, no more premature dying in my family. You got to get up and voice something. Because if you're praying, you should be prophetically speaking. Yeah. Your word comes out of the mouth of a king. Every word is decreed. That means it's going to happen. It's going down. Come on now. That, means that that come out of the mouth of a king. That one's that come out of the mouth of, look at here, the Christ. It's not Jesus' last name. That's an anointing. That's a mountain. You in here this morning, you're sitting under a mountain of now faith. Come on now. Mount 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 yes. Yes. That's not the name of our church. That's a mountain. That's the that culture. God, that put, that's the culture. That's the, the culture, culture of God. faith you mm -hmm. sitting there where it's not taking no for an answer. They come in and say, let the will of God be. Mm -hmm. I didn't come up here to ask you for a car. I come to get my car. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I'm not asking to be healed. Sickness, I'm telling you. Get you up know, off of me. Yeah. I am healed. Yeah. You got to speak it sometimes. How long has it been you speaking and declaring until it get off you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't back off. That's, you got to stand. You're standing on a sure foundation. Yeah. Sure foundation. No, you can't be standing on, on no sand. Like the if, if. You got to get off of that if and get into the faith is what? Confidence in God. Come on, so faith Come. So, oh, oh, one more other thing. And I'm going to sit down on this one, honey. I'm going to take off because he love word. God showed Moses the backside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he sent Jesus to reveal his face. Mm. Come on! Hey! hey. <laughs> That's the word. Okay, so hey! Yeah! Yeah! One more time. Yeah! <laughs> Boom. God showed Moses his backside. That was the law. And he knew we couldn't keep it anyway, so he had to come on and put himself on, on the inside of himself and come in and show his face now. Come on now. Yeah. And yeah. He, want a per he want us to have a personal oh, yes. relationship face to face. Yes. yes. I ain't got to be looking at his back mm -hmm. points. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Look at God face to face. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Come on now. We can talk to him and salute one another and mirror and love and model one another. Yeah. Ain't that awesome? Yeah. Now you ought to give God a praise. Yeah. 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 Next Sunday, stay tuned. Mm. All right. Same faith challenge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same impossible challenge. Uh, same miraculous yes. challenge. Yes. Oh, same God. supernatural challenge. Same right. supernatural challenge. Same faith 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 who? Somebody say who? 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 Somebody call you who? 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 You go to the mailbox and let them what? Who? 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 Come on here, of contention. I sense contention been around yet. Yeah, break that spirit of contention. Mm. Amen. Spirit yes. of frustration. Yes. Yes. Spirit of giving up. Amen. Spirit of quit. Amen. 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 Amen.
Peace. So you come down and know that God yeah. is in you. Yeah. He's dwelling in us and everything you get us. All these giftings is in us. Yeah. So we need to be discovering all of this wonder and greatness in us because that's one of the gifts, the gift of working in miracles. In this season of your life, you're going to be see, see God working miraculously Amen. through yes. you. Thank you. Yes. We got to have it now. Thank we got to set this enemy down. Yes. Come on, yes. 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 To be paralyzed, all this old poverty, the you lying spirit. Mm -hmm. We have an inheritance. Come so on, I say that. We have an inheritance. We have, we have, have an inheritance. inheritance. Right. Right. Now, watch, no, hold on, watch. watch this here. Write this down. Once y'all write this down. This, this is the bag up. Now, this is the bag up. This is the guarantee to have God before you. Who can be against you? Here's the bag up. Here's the bag up. Ephesians. Ephesians 4, verse 3. Blessed be God and the fathers of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the anointing. Who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. In the anointing. In Christ means anointing. In the anointing. Mm -hmm. I was talking with you about the anointing. In the anointing. Mm -hmm. That comes by, that's come by association. The anointing comes by fellowship, by association. Yeah. Come by keep hearing and hearing, yes. hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. Yes. That's the relation. That's anointing. The yes. anointing. Faith come by hearing. But what does faith bring? Anointing. It keeps bringing the anointing. Faith, never, faith is never independent from the anointing. Amen. Huh? You Amen. just ain't in faith. You're in an anointing of faith. Mm -hmm. You ain't heard nothing I just said. You're not just, it's a problem. It's a now. Now faith. Now anointing. Yes. Come on now. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Now watch this here. Hit it again. Hit it again. Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Just as he chose us in him, where? Chose us in, not in your mother, not in, not in your blackness, not in your whiteness, not in your Chineseness. You was chosen in him. You just happen to have a, a, a whatever race you are on. That's your earth suit. Right. But who you really are is Christ in you. Right. Uh, the, come on. The glory of God. The hope of God. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. So so your true identity is not identified by race. Your, your true identity is by spirit. You just got it on an earth suit. Mm. Yeah. Take off the earth suit, you still spirit. Come on now. Are you following me? Uh -huh. are, are you, are you, you're hearing this here. Yes. Can I listen to this? Here? Listen to this. Take my spirit. Okay. He chose us in him before what? See, there it is again. Before the foundation of the world. Watch this here. Before the system. Before you was counted in a system. You were created before kingdom. Uh -huh. You were created in kingdom. And you came in kingdom. Huh? Yes, we did. Notice when, when Jesus first came, he was he was in the hood, right? Mm -hmm. But in the major, that was the hood. Right. Jesus was he would come a king in the hood. In he was in that location, hood. Right. See what I'm saying? Location, born in the manger. Manger, right. manger that's, that's a trough. That's what animals drink out of. But he was a king. And only the wise was able to look in the hood, look in the manger, and see a king. See, don't get mad when everybody can't see you as a king. They ain't got the eyes to see that. Every, every person, only wise came. Only the wise will identify that you anointed. Only the wise will respect you. It takes a certain now to see greatness. Amen. Are you following me? A certain now to see greatness. I know more when I see more. I don't, I don't care how you look on the outside. I know when I'm looking at the king. I know when I'm looking at the prophet. I know when I'm looking at somebody great. And I don't, I don't judge that by how much money you got. Come on now. Come on here. I just by your conversation. Mm, this is somebody great. This is somebody I want to know. Are you following you what I'm saying? I don't judge about what you drive. Come on here. Because see, they would have misjudged Jesus if they would have looked at the fact. He in the main how is he great? Mm -hmm. He in an animal. He ain't even got a, a bed. To be, he even, couldn't even have a bed. But, but because of situation. God brought revelation mm -hmm. in situation. See what I'm saying? Just because it looked like that, you ain't got to identify with that. And don't stop who you are. Are you following me? Yes, See, stuff don't make you, you make the stuff. You the yeah. yeah. See, he wasn't worried about it. See, he, he knew. He knew he wasn't about no trophy. He, he made the trophy he was in. Yeah. Emmanuel, God what? With us. With us. His name was what? Emmanuel. God with us. 
to he told her that he said I must need to go by Samaria. Yeah. It wasn't the story wasn't about her, it was always about him. Mm -hmm. I must need to go by Samaria. In other words, he was so impregnant. He had been remember he had been with the father. So when you done been with the father and father put an impartation, you, he, so you got you got to you got to go somewhere and empty that out. Y'all mm -hmm. okay. He had to go pull that out somewhere. It was so awesome and full of life. <laughs> he had to go share that. Uh -huh. It was a divine appointment. No, That's you, awesome. That's some awesome stuff. No, listen, no, 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 no. Did y'all write your features for now? You have to read this shit. What you listen to shit? My, my, my lady right, the lady right here, you, you shut up for me, just tell me right It's not an accident that you're in this place. And you have to hear this word today in which your spirit have received. Amen. But you're not in a losing season, you're in a winning season. Amen. And everything that, that seemed like was against you shall not work for you. The minute you put a feet out this door, everything is going to change. Amen. Woo! Amen. 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 Uh, 2019 into 2020 with 2020 vision. Amen. You will see it. God will show it to you. You won't even have to figure it out. God said the steps of a good man are ordered. God going to order your steps. Thank you. And that that looked like it wouldn't happen shall happen. And even some will come back and even apologize. Mm -hmm. And your spirit will be in shape to receive. But you will move on, said the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Uh, let me read this here. We're going to come to a close here. Uh, so, so he says here, and he predestined us to adoption as sons to himself through Jesus Christ according to the good pleasures of his will, to, to praise of the glory of his grace which he graciously bestowed on us in, in, in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his, of his grace which he lavished on us in all wisdom in our insight, yes. making known unto us the mystery of his will. You, you, you ain't gonna have to wonder what the will is. He gonna make it clear so where you can't miss it. <laughs> he gonna shut down all the noise around you where you can think and know. Right. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, let me tell you something. When it comes to your destiny, the details of your destiny are not here in the Bible. That business you got, ma'am, that ain't in here. You got to hear God to know the next move. Mm -hmm. You, you got to know what the next client is. All right. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you something. Stand up, stand up, woman of God. Stand up, woman of God. Matter of fact, come right here. Come right here. Honey, get behind here. Come right here. You just like God wants you. You got your shoes on. <laughs> whenever, God, whenever God do promotion, whenever God promotes you, he tell you to remove your shoes. All right. okay. Moses showed up in, in, in transition in his shoes. He said, remove your shoes. Mm -hmm. All right. Because I'm about to talk to you in a way you haven't heard. Right. And I'm about to take you somewhere that you've never been. Mm -hmm. God said, know that I anoint you today for a new season. Mm -hmm. Know that 2020 going to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. 2020, 2020, Charlie, major station is going to catch your work. I'm saying some type of festival that you're going to be invited to and go. Mm -hmm. It's going to look like you're going to have the sources to set up. But God said, when you shut up, I'm going to shut everything down and the eyes going to be on me. Because I'm about to expose you in this season. I'm about to, and not, you have came under the umbrella, under the mountain of now faith here. You shall see faith work like you've never seen it work before. And there's some things you've been praying, some things you say, I want to do it. And some things in your life you say, I want to straighten out. God said, all oh, that's going to be straight in 2020. He said, all oh, going to be. You got some things that you've been crying out and crying out. And God said, no, that I'm perfecting those things. And I've heard your cry. And God said, I'm perfecting those things, said the Holy Ghost. For truly, my hand has been up on you for from a child. I'm seeing you cutting stuff and art and stuff as a little girl. I'm, I'm seeing some things, drawing and little stuff. You were doing sketches and little stuff. And you still got some pictures from I'm seeing some sketches and stuff that was in pencil. You know what I'm talking about? I'm seeing some pencil stuff. But God is saying, he said, I'm about to show you something as you sleep. I, I'm telling you, New York. It's going to catch it. You, you shall be known for your wealth. And I'm saying something going to come out the, the hoop of your mind. 
The Eden Celeb is going to walk. The red carpet going to walk. I'm seeing nine people getting ready to wear your garments. Now let me, now let me write it down when it happens because come back and bless the prophet. Remember, you got this word right here. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for a new beginning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When, honey, come touch our feet. Come, come, come touch her, the front of our feet because God gave me the order of your steps. Yes, shut up. Shut up. And whatever you do, woman of God, God, you tie into this vision like never before. Don't let nothing separate you from this vision. You have not came here by accident. But matter of fact, this, this vision is a lifeline to you. And you're going to see your health increase. You're going to see your strength regather and gather 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 and gather. And here come another surprise. At the appointed time is the right time. And it won't be no time soon. But, but, but. But I do see, I do see, I, well, I, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that. But I, but I see something. I, I see something, and when certain things get a certain way, this going to happen. And I'm, I'm going to come back to this day and tell you the thing that I start to tell you, but the Holy Spirit say, hold that. I just wanted you to know that, talking about me. Then I'll reveal the rest of that prophecy to you. But you tie into this vision, and you're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to see that no weapon formed against you can prosper. Favor is on your side. But I, I, I see something. I, I see your inventory. I see your creativity going to another level. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. Yeah, because what God made do for me, you had to come under a covenant. Because when you go into the world, you know, spirits will try to rob, rape, steal. God said, not so. That's why he's sitting you under a covering. So that it's good. good protection, you know, and prayers for right. you to yeah. meet you. Of course, in your your strength in the spirit realm is just going to grow rapidly and rapidly. And I see resurrection life. God's going to restore all. Because I see some ugly stuff, but God's going to restore mm. all the poor of the canker worm. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, social media and you're saying who is this God? Who is this God? He's your God and you can make him Lord today by asking God to forgive you of your sins and asking God to come into your life. If you believe that God sent your son Jesus Christ to die for you and raise you from the dead, you can be saved right now. It's not about how you feel, ain't about what you've done, ain't about none of that. Ain't about what you did, it's what Christ did. Amen. It's the price he paid for you. And if you can simply say this prayer, man, when everybody join in, and those that are saved, that I want you to pray this prayer with those that's not saved, that's hearing me, maybe in this room, maybe out there in social media, whatever, whatever platform you're on, I mean, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe. I believe that you sent your son, that you sent your son Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ to die for me, to die for me and raise him from the dead and him from that the I can be saved. That I can be saved. God, God send your Holy Spirit, send your Holy right, Spirit now right now to live, to live rule, rule in my life. In, my life. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. God, I receive your mercy. God, I receive, I receive your, your grace. I receive and your I believe by faith, and I believe that, no faith. that no weapon formed against me formed against can prosper, because I'm in your kingdom, and I believe your words, in Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you saved. Don't worry about how you feel. Just receive that right now. God is going to send a shepherd your way. He's going to send disciples your way. They're going to lead you to the next level. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give God a hand. social media, if you desire to sow into this anointing, and then sow into this ministry, amen, now if you have a, a, a pastor, a church home, your tithes and offerings go there, but if you desire to sow a seed in this ministry, and you heard us today, you can go to paypal.com, excuse me, and key in profit, Darrell, D-A-R-R-E-L-L -L Johnson, 1958, at yahoo.com, then go to paypal.com, Key in Prophet Darrell, D A R R E L L, Johnson, 1958, at yahoo.com. Amen. Amen. And we speak a hundredfold over your seed. Amen. 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 If you want to know more about this ministry, you can go to Now Faith Is Ministries, uh, dot org. Amen. Now Faith Is Ministries, dot org. Put up the website and tell you all about the ministry. Amen. If you down to fellowship with us, uh, you can meet us here at the Hilton Garden Inn at 2325 North Stemmons Freeway, Dallas, Texas, every Sunday morning at 1015. Amen. Amen. And well, until we meet again, go and grow in the things of God, and we'll see you next time on Spiritual Empowerment for Success in Life. Let's give God a hand. <laughs>